Hey everybody, Jill from Two Dogs Media. Wanted to introduce you to Smarter Q. It is a social media management platform. I actually started using it a few months ago, fell in love, and subscribed for a year. So um, I love what this tool does. I think it offers so much flexibility and it really allows you to automate your social media like no other tool I've tried. Um, I have worked with Hootsuite, I've worked with Buffer, I I've worked with Me Edgar, and either the costs were prohibitive for you know what I needed or it just didn't do everything I needed. Um, but so SmarterQ so far has checked off just about every thing that I wanted in a social media platform. Um, so I wanted to share this with you so you guys can see what it does. This is not meant to be a tutorial. It's just a walkthrough so you can kind of get a feel for how it works and decide if it looks good for you. Um, you can get a two month trial if you use the link in my post. I do not get any kind of affiliate rewards for this and I'm donating a month um, of the free credit that I would get. So if I only gave you a one month free trial, I would get a one month um, credit next time I renew, but I'm giving that back. So you guys get two months if you wanna give it a shot. Um, I don't care about getting any rewards for it, I just wanted to share it because I think it's that good of a tool. And so far um, I have emailed support twice, they got back to me instantly. Um, so that's a, another bonus there as well. So let's get started real quick. Um, as far as the pricing goes, again, you'd get to two months uh, trial for free and then you can subscribe. And one of the things I loved about it was it was cost effective, guys. I mean, there's not a lot out there that's in a price range that's comfortable. If you do an annual subscription, for most of you, you'd only need the solo plan and it's $17 a month. Um, if you do it month to month, it's $20 a month. And that's 500 queued posts will keep you pretty well synced for a while. So maybe you have to jump in once a month Month, um, to do updates. If you have the money, even at $40 a month, it's a really good deal. Um, there's a few limitations for each of the packages, but you can go through it. But this is at a pros price point that most serious uh, website owners should be able to handle um, for what this tool does. So let's get started real quick. Once you sign up uh, for SmarterQ, the first thing you're going to do is add your social profiles. Um, I have three different websites, so you can see I have uh, Plum Crazy has three different accounts, Two Dogs Media has two, and then I have a Charity Paws is three. Um, you can add a Facebook page, group, Twitter profile, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Pinterest. So there's uh, just about everything that you need is in here. Once your profiles are set up, you would go into your categories. Okay, and here is where you set up the categories of the content to, you want to disperse. Um, this is going to be customizable to ha whatever works for you. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Um, it took me about three or four different times to get it right. Right now I'm at a comfortable place. I have more categories I want to add, but for now we're good. Um, so right now you can see I'm in the Christmas category. You'll see the little play button here, and then you'll see the pause button here. These two categories are paused right now, meaning anything that's in that category will not go out. I can set specific time frames um, to deliver my content based on season or promotion or campaign, whatever. So if you have, if you're working with a, if you're a blogger and you're working with a specific um, company and working with them on a, a specific promotional uh, time frame, uh, say you're working with Black & Decker uh, for a Father's Day promotion and they just want the content to go out right around Father's Day, you can do a category called Father's Day and just have it sent out maybe three weeks prior to Father's Day or six weeks prior to Father's Day, uh, whatever you decide. So this is a great way to really hone in on sending out you know, specific content at the most appropriate time. So I have my Christmas one set up. I started my Christmas one on October 31st and it'll end on December 31st. So anything I have in the Christmas category will only go out for these two months. Once January 1st hits, all of my Christmas stuff will go into pause mode. So again, a lot of flexibility. You can choose color codes. You can choose the profiles that you want each category associated with. So for Christmas, Obviously, Two Dogs Media doesn't do Christmas-related stuff or a business blog, so we're not going to share anything that's Christmas-specific. But for Charity Paws, I do, and for Plum Crazy, I do. So um, this will only be available to these specific profiles. And that's it for categories. So again, this is a flexible area. I just love the option to be able to turn on or turn off items um, in season. You can easily see what's in and out. Next would be... Um, after your categories, then you would go into your posting plan. Your posting plan is where you're going to set up what you want to go out and when. 
So right now when I go to my posting plan, I can see every item I have scheduled, what category it's in, and what profile it is. So right now it's showing me absolutely everything. So I'm going to filter this down. And what I love about the filters is you can hone in on one specific social network. So if I click this, I'm going to turn all of my profiles off. We're just going to use Plum Crazy for this video, my Pinterest. And right now I'm going to focus, say if I just want to focus on making sure my Christmas stuff is going out, I can click none. And I'm going to click my Christmas category and then click close. So now what shows on my posting plan is the times and days I have Christmas content set to go out. Okay, so I have, for example, on Monday at 7 a.m., I have a Christmas post going to Pinterest. Then I have another one going at 4 p.m. Tuesday, I have one at 10 a.m. I so I only have one on Tuesday. Wednesday, so you can skip down to the bottom and you can see exactly how many you have going out for a specific category. So just for Christmas on Pinterest, you can see I have one or two a day on average. And then below is a more detailed chart. Now, if you want to see all of your data, you can look at apply filters. What if I want to see Plum Crazy for all of my accounts? I can click Facebook and Twitter and I can click all of my categories and I'm going to hide my inactive categories for now because I don't want to deal with those right now. So Easter, Halloween and summer now are hidden because I don't care about those right now. Now, when I go back to my planner, okay, I can see everything that I have going out on all of my Plum Crazy accounts. And if I scroll to the bottom, I can see Monday I have a total of 17 going out, 14, 18. So this is accumulation of all of your content for all of your social profiles. Then if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see the breakdown. So for Pinterest, I have 10 Christmas slots for this week. I have 15 fall slots for this week. Okay, so you can really get an eye view and make sure you're doing things in a manner that makes sense. So even for own content, I like to make sure I'm kind of balanced. Um, I want my shared content, you know, to be relevant to my own content. So I'm not oversharing my own items. And then this red box that's blocked like this, you can see there's a warning. It says your evergreen posts will not be recycled until you add more evergreen content for this profile, which means I don't have enough posts in my fall category yet for SmarterQ to keep sending them out. So that's one of the things I love about SmarterQ. It's thinking for me and preventing me from looking like a spammer on the social media profiles, especially Twitter. Twitter hates when you really do too many posts at one time, so it prevents you from doing that. Okay. And then there's a couple other options down here you can take a look at as well. So this is your posting plan. Okay, to add to it, say if I wanted to add a new one, um, let's go here. Let's say I want to put something in here. I can add a time slot. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your category. So I'm going to do my own content. Okay, I'm going to select, I only want to choose one specific profile. So I'm going to choose my Pinterest. And I'm just going to do this here. Okay. And that's it. So now I have a new time frame for my own content. I can make it a holiday. I can make it whatever. You can do it right from here as well. Um, it'll give you your options here. Okay. And then you can just drag and drop. If you want to move it somewhere else, you can drag and drop. You can delete it. So it's all right here for you. I, I can't, this was the thing I love the most about it. So I'm spending a little extra time here for me visually seeing it this way it made it really easy for me for me to make sure I'm adding things appropriately. So once your posting plan is done, then you're going to want to add content to your posting plan. And there's a few different ways to do this. So add a post. Okay, the first thing you're always going to have to do is pick a category. So I'm going to pick Christmas. And I'm going to actually, I'm not going to pick Christmas. I am going to pick own content. I'm going to pick charity pause on Twitter. And then I'm going to go to my charity pause page, grants. I already brought this up just to make it easy. And I'm going to put my link in here. And you'll see it turns into this. It'll have uh, two brackets and then the word link in the middle. That must stay there. Okay. Um, and then I can add a great list of grants for animal rescues. Grants. Animal Rescues. 
So I added my text in there. I got my um, hashtags in there. I've got my link in there. You can see a cute little image. Everything's all set up. And then I can just click post once, leave it at that, and then save. And it'll add it to my queue and it'll ship out the next time I have the category own content scheduled in my posting planner. I don't have to do anything else. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. Another way to do it is they do have a little app that sits in your browser bar called Smarter Q. I can just click this. Okay, so this you could do from any single page, not just your own. So if you're on another website, if I'm on a website about animal rescue and I love a story they had to tell, I can share it right from my browser bar and I could do the same thing. I could do shared content if it was from a different website. Uh, I can select um, Charity Paws Twitter. Okay, and then it'll pull in the title because I'm sharing it from the browser bar instead. It brings me in the title. I could do the same thing. Post once, add to top of queue. I can add it to the bottom of the queue. I can post it right now if I want to. Set a date and time. Um, you can even put it as a draft in case you want to deal with it later. So these are all fantastic ways um, to get content added. One of the cool things is you can also, actually a lot of cool things. Um, <laughs> this tool really does a lot, guys. So it's, I can't go through everything. But So now what if I wanted to share this to Twitter and Facebook at the same time? I could also do Facebook. And now you see you have two little tabs. Okay. Facebook, you can customize the text specifically for Facebook. And then for Twitter, you can customize it just for Twitter. Okay. So you're doing two different texts because they're two different social media platforms. On top of that, you can do add text variation. And what this does, it allows you to recycle this post. So I can do, and you want to make sure you have a different variation for your text. So I'm going to do looking for great animal rescue grants. Okay, so I got variation too. But now I, maybe I don't want to use the same image in that second variation. I can do vary media and I can do add images. I can choose a different image. I can do this one. That's more of a Pinterest thing, but now you can see <clears throat> we're going to have different images for different variations. Okay, so for variation, so Charity Paws on Facebook, this is what it'll look like, and it's showing you a preview. Charity Paws on Twitter, this is what it's going to look like. And then in the next variation, the next time it can go out, again, this is going to your shared content category. So the next time, say if my shared content category goes out today at 5 p.m. and then I have another one scheduled for um, tomorrow, it's going to take whatever's next in queue and send it out. Now I'm hoping you have more than one post in your shared content. You want to make sure you have a decent amount of posts in your shared content category. But the tool will automatically send it out when it's appropriate. And the next variation that it will send out will look like this one. Okay. So Charity Plus Facebook Variation 2, you can see. So it's give, it's telling you exactly what it's going to send out and when it's going to send out. So this one is re after posting. And you can even set an expiration date. So say if this was only specific for May or June and you don't have a specific category that expires, you can expire after being posted two times. You can expire after a certain date. You can add wherever you want it to add. So this is the automation feature that I absolutely love. And you can add multiple text variations and just keep churning it out. Okay. Um, the only problem that I've seen so far with um, SmarterQ that I wish was a little bit different is when you're posting to Pinterest, it, you can only choose one board at a time. So if I wanted to share this to my, I don't know if I have a pet board in here, but... Um, say I just want to share it to this board, I can only share it to this board. I can't share it to multiple boards. So I have to either reshare it or do a new post for it. So that is another way to add. And then one of the other options is 
there's a few different options. I'm only covering the ones I'm using right now. Um, you can see there's import from RS, import from CSV, um, reshare best posts. There's all this other stuff. I haven't even touched that yet. Um, but another one is um, find content. So they give you some ideas in here, suggestions for funny people, um, quotes, social media and marketing. Um, they give you some people you can click on and it'll show you that person's content. Okay, so you can see all the stuff from Amy. If you happen to like this person, you can share her stuff. Some of the stuff may not be available. It's based on profile. So even I don't have the next level up, which will give me more advanced filtering of this. So you might be limited as to the certain options you have with this tool. Um, but what you can do, so say if I'm, you know, an animal rescue and I want to see what Charity Paws is up to, I'm going to type in Charity Paws. I'm going to look them up and see what they have going on. And I can share a couple things out from their feed because I like them, I support them. So you can see all my different things. I can share some of this stuff out. You can do hashtags. So if I wanted to share um, something SEO related on Two Dogs Media, I can click SEO bring all this in. Okay, so now I have all these cool things. Okay, so like right now, if I want to share this one from um, SEM Rush, I can click share full post. I can click shared content to my Two Dogs Media Twitter page. And then I can click it's already set to post once, add to topic queue, and I can click save. And now it's in my queue to go out the next time that category is scheduled. Under here, under my sources, I have my own feeds set up for my own websites. So for Two Dogs Media, like I pulled in all of my feeds. So it's going to show my posts, which I can post right from here. Okay, so WordPress 5.3 is on its way. Um, that's the last post I did. Okay, WordPress related posts without a plugin. So I can share this right from here as well. So there's a lot of different ways. They have a GIF search, image search, they have all these different things. So this is definitely worth playing around with. And it's going to give you a never ending resource for finding great content. This is all stuff we're still playing with, still trying to figure it all out. Um, and the last part is, and this is where a lot of the other tools I know were missing or you had to pay a boatload of money. It's giving you analytical data. So if you look at my analytics for past posts that have went out, I can kind of see how I'm doing. I can view in a whole bunch of different methods, metrics. Um, I'm going to do, let's do most clicks, see what my best performing click posts were. Okay, fight your SEO flames, 381 clicks, um, 197, 73. So you can get a feel for what your audience is really responding to, which to me is super important. Um, and then you can reshare things from here as well. So this is just a whole nother um, option for you for really understanding what's doing really well for you so you can create similar content. It'll give you your monthly stats. And again, this is going to be based on the level that you purchase, I believe, how much data you're actually getting. Um, you can do analyze social profiles. Um, so I can see how, um, let's say how I'm doing on Twitter. So Twitter, I can look at my two dogs media. I'll do all time. Okay, it's going to analyze it for me. Okay, and if you get the bigger plans, you can analyze your competition's data as well, which is really awesome. So all time, I've got about 900 posts. 54% of them are links. You can see how well you're doing over a period of time. So this is some useful data as well. Um, most use hashtags, top hashtags. But imagine having this for your competitors. That would be kind of awesome. So um, we may upgrade to that plan next year, um, but that's just something else to think about. So that's everything for Smarter Q. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you've tried it or if you're going to try it, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day.